Hi, my name is John and I'm the founder of Bing's Academy, where we help students prepare for important exams with effective study strategies and resources. In this video, we'll be sharing a step-by-step -step approach for tackling square puzzle questions and showcasing our very new book, Harder Square Puzzles, which is optimized to help students master these types of questions. Let's get into it. Let's start off with going through what is a square puzzle question. A square puzzle question is when you are given different components that make up a complete square. This is typically four white pieces and one black piece. Students are then asked to choose from four options in terms of making another square puzzle. This requires problem solving and mathematical reasoning. It is also a reason why it is seen in the 2021 thinking skills paper, as well as the mathematical reasoning portion of the higher ability selection test or the HAST exam in senior years if you're looking to transfer into a selective high school. In terms of the HAST exam or even the traditional selective exam, there is no guarantees that this exact question will appear again but the skills required to solve this question accurately will undoubtedly be beneficial whether or not this question will appear. In exciting news, I created a book called Harder Square Puzzles based on variations of this question type that will cover even more detailed uh, questions and I'll also go through a more detailed step-by-step -step approach on how to tackle these questions as well. In this video, however, I'll be going through an example of what this question will look like as well as a revised approach that students can follow that will not be as detailed. It will equally be helpful if you're following and answering these types of questions and then I'll be going through the ins and outs of our very new book. Let's get into the revised step-by-step -step approach for solving square puzzle questions. So step number one is start by carefully examining the square puzzle and understanding the rules and parameters of it. Take notes of the total number of squares in the puzzle as well as the total number of squares in each of the black and white pieces that form and make up that puzzle. It's important to understand the specific type of square puzzle problem you're dealing with and identify any additional restrictions such as specific colors on the edges or certain patterns that need to be formed. There are going to be variations to the question, so you need to examine what is the question and what is the square puzzle even asking you to do. Step number two is take note of the characteristics of each black piece in the answer options such as its shape and number of squares in each row. Remember that the black piece that fits with the white pieces will have to fit have the same number of squares as the answer option otherwise it will not form the entire square puzzle. This can help you quickly identify which black piece fits and which one does not fit with the white pieces depending on the question. For harder questions though it won't really help too much as they'll all have the same number of pieces that form up each of those shapes. And step number three is to double check your work to ensure that you've tested each black piece in the answer options and eliminated the one that does not or does fit based on the question. This will help you avoid any mistakes and ensure you've arrived at the correct answer. Don't be afraid to really double check first before you lock in your response as this type of question is very easy to make a mistake on. Now let's talk about our book, New South Wales Selective Test, Harder Square Puzzles. This book is the ultimate resources for students preparing for the new New South Wales Selective Test for thinking skills or for the ACER High Ability Selection Test, the HAST exam for the mathematical reasoning section. It features 125 challenging square puzzles to complete, carefully selected to help students sharpen their critical thinking skills and approach problems logically. With a variety of complexity levels and variations, including not just six by six examples or components of the square puzzle questions, but also seven by seven. The puzzles in this the book are designed to be increasingly more difficult as the students progress, allowing them to build confidence and overcome challenges. It is the only way for us to cater to both the top students in Year 6 and also simultaneously making it relevant for students in Year 9 or Year 10 preparing for the HAST exam. This book also comes with clear instructions and color-coded answers. As you can see from the back here, 
uh, which will allow them to make it easier to understand and reference in case you needed to double check. This is a big step up and it made the book a lot longer than expected. As you can see, there's so many pages here that I originally thought, but the questions are only as good as the answers. Great answer explanations in the book is going to be very important because it will show you which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect. The answers in this book will not just show the correct answer, but it will also show why the incorrect options are incorrect for a reason. And that will allow students to learn a little bit faster and quicker. Students can benefit from our new book in several different ways. Firstly, it offers a comprehensive and rigorous approach to problem solving, allowing students to develop critical thinking skills and improve their ability to identify patterns, which is crucial in both exams. Secondly, the book provides a wide variety of square puzzle types of questions with varying levels of complexity, allowing students to practice on multiple levels depending on how they're progressing. Finally, the book offers clear and concise instructions, making it easy to use and reference, as well as color-coded answer explanations at the very end. It is the same questions that we use here at Bing's Academy, where we'll hopefully eventually provide more resources and practice material that is not redundant and is going to be very practical. Plus, we've got some great illustrations in the book that is printed in the same great quality as our previous book, Harder Closed Passages. And for anyone with that book, you will know that the book feels and looks amazing. It is available via Amazon all around the world for just under $60 Australian. And I can tell you now that the book is extremely thick and packed with a ton of questions. Although the book is only worth it if the student actually does the questions and learns from it. It doesn't make any sense for you to purchase any book, whether it's a book that we have or a book that someone else made, if the student doesn't actually do those questions. I remember when I was young, my mum would buy me a bunch of math textbooks, English textbooks, and the whole shebang, but it wouldn't really help me if I just didn't do them. I was so preoccupied with other resources and I just was sometimes lazy and didn't do it. So if you are in that type of situation, even though this book might be amazing, if you're, the student actually doesn't do those questions, there's no point or no value in that. But in saying that though, if you end up getting this book, whether through its Amazon or checking out bingsacademy.com on our uh, shop section on the website, I hope you really enjoy it. Uh, this is a brand new book in this new area, so I would really appreciate any feedback. If you don't think it's very good, put it down in the comments below. Or if you want us to tweak certain things in another edition or another future copy of a book, let us know down below too. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you smash this exam with the help of this book and I'll see you guys in the next video.